how to round numbers, you need to just keep two things in mind, and we'll write them both down together. Okay? The first thing you want to keep in mind is, well, how accurate would you like to be? How accurate would you like to be? You might have noticed, as we were going through our list of five numbers, right? We took a number like 631 and we rounded it to the nearest hundred. You see that? 600, that's the closest hundred. And this number, we also rounded to the nearest hundred. But these numbers, we were a little more accurate. We didn't round to the nearest hundred, we rounded to the nearest, yeah? Go ahead, question. 10, very good, because 40 is a 10, 50 is a 10, 100 is also a 10. So the first thing you want to think about is, how accurate would you like to be? Sometimes the question will ask you, please be this accurate. Other times, it's up to you to kind of choose. There's the first thing. The second thing, and this is the actual rounding part, is what's the closest number? What's the closest number? So once you've decided how accurate you would like to be, you just think about, well, okay, which one of those is really close? So let's think about this 43 that we did, right? We already know the answer. So how do we know it went to 40? Let me show you. Underneath here, just write down that number again, 43. There are two tens that are closest to 43. One's a bit smaller and one's a bit bigger. What are those two numbers that are close to it? Anyone? Yeah, go ahead, buddy. 40 and 50. Very good. So 40 is right here, down below, and 50 is above. So one's bigger and one's smaller. So what I want to work out is, well, which one is further away? What do I have to add to 43 to get to 50? What's the difference? Yeah, go ahead, Keegan. Uh, seven. Very good. So to go up, I have to add seven, right? It's not that far. But I have a look at the other number. What do I have to subtract from 43 to get 40? Yep. Three. Very good. I subtract three. So you can clearly see which one of these is closer, right? 40 is why we picked this one, because it's a smaller gap. It's closer to 43. Now, while we're talking about 40 and 50, I think we can do all of the numbers between 40 and 50. So would you with me write out, we're going to get all the numbers, 41, 42, 43, 44, write them along in a line. Leave a bit of space between them, okay? We're going to write them all down, and we're going to do this comparison. See what's going on. Okay. I'm going to do it over here. All right, so you can see my whole list. <laughs> it gets a bit more crowded at the end. Sorry about that. Maybe your list looks the same. Um, I haven't put 40 or 50 on there. Uh, and the reason why is because when I think about what's the closest number found around into tens, 40 and 50, well, they are tens, right? They don't need to go anywhere. They can just stay where they are. So I don't need to do any changing, which is kind of nice. Okay? So now that I've got my whole list here, let's think about how far they have to go up and how far they have to go down to get to these closest numbers, okay? Now, we've already done one of them, right? We've already done 43, so we can fill that in already. Plus 7 to go up and take away 3 to go down. So we already know that one. We can fill in the rest of them, but we can do it quite quickly because there's a pattern here. There's a pattern. For instance, if we, are, if we go forwards, we can see 44 and 50 what do I have to add to 44 to get 50? Yeah, go ahead. It's 6, right? Go to the next number over. What do I have to add to 45 to get to 50 now? Yeah. 5. Five. Very good. I'm going to pause. Do you see a pattern already for me? There's a really easy pattern, isn't there? What's the next one going to be? You don't even have to think about it, do you? Keegan? 4. Plus 4. Very good. It's going to be plus 4 here. And then plus 3. You can see it's going down 1 each time. Let's fill that all out. And once you've gone all the way that way, well, we might as well finish the rest of the list going to the left as well. If you're really quick, you can do the bottom ones as well and do all the subtractions. Yeah, question? Um, well, 45, which, how do you know? Ah, that's a great question. I will get to 45. It's the most interesting one out of a lot. Um, we will get to it as a class in a minute. So I'm glad you asked that question. Maybe someone can help me with that in a minute. Okay. 
Okay, so there are some really easy bits to do, and then there are some which raise a question, right? So first, let's do the easy ones. Some of these numbers, they're going to go to the closest 10 by going down. We call that rounding down, right? We already know that 43 rounds down because 3 is smaller than 7. Uh, this one is going to round down as well, right? This rounds down. There's one more that obviously rounds down. Which one is it? Which number rounds down that I haven't done yet? Yeah, Bradley. 24. Very good. Yeah, this one here, 4 is smaller than 6, so I'm closer to the bottom, okay? I'll skip over this guy for a second. This, as you can see here, it switches over, doesn't it, right? Rounding down is not as good anymore. I want to round up. So all of these four over here, 46, 47, 48, 49. Rounding up is what makes sense for all of those because that's closer. And then we get to the curious case of Mr. 45. Okay, so who can tell me, uh, who knows the answer already, that which way 45 goes? Does it go up or down? You can tell me, shout out. Uh, it goes up. It goes up. Now, everyone shouted out up. But that's kind of weird though. Like, I get confused when you tell me that because plus 5, take away 5, looks like it's bang in the middle to me. Okay? Now, there's a lot of different answers to this question I'm going to pose to you. So, feel free to shout a few different ones back. Who reckons they have an idea for why? Why do you all say plus 5, why go up? Yeah, do you want to give a suggestion? That's okay, that's right. Someone else want to have a, have a crack at it? When you round the numbers, if there's like two ways to round it, like the addition and subtraction, you always go with addition. Oh, okay, so that's an interesting one. So we notice the fives are the same. It's like, well, I'm the same distance, but we usually like to add rather than subtracting. That's a bit discriminatory, but that's it is. It's true, we, we learn adding before we learn subtracting. It's much easier. So there's a suggestion. It's a great reason. Anyone want to give another one? Another suggestion for why that might be? Do you want to give one? Yeah. Doesn't that mean you can also subtract if you find subtracting easier? Ah, okay. We'll, we'll talk about which way you would go in a second. I'll talk about that after once we establish why we do go up in general. Any other suggestions? I have one big one. Okay, first, let's all put the tick on the plus 5. Because it's true, 45 will round up to 50. The main reason why is because, you know what? If you're doing this, see this list of numbers that we're adding? If you want to round down, you can, right? It, the difference is the same, right? So how you come out at the end, you'll still be in the same ballpark. No problems, okay? However, this is just for, just for us, just because we're adding a list of numbers. If what you're doing maybe is rounding, but not rounding numbers, if you are rounding something like money, then you want to make sure that you and the person you're paying, or vice versa, if you're the person working and collecting money, that you're collecting the same amount of money. That's kind of a big deal. You don't want to get there and say, oh, I have the exact right amount of money. And then they decide, ah, you know what? I'm going to round the other way. That would be very inconvenient, wouldn't it? Okay? So in areas like that, we really want consistency. right? We really want to make sure we have the same answer. Just like so many of you shouted out, yes, round up. So that is why, and you can put a big box around this if you like, for consistency so that we're all talking the same language. We make 45 or 35 or 25 uh, or 105, we make them all round up so that we make sure we all arrive at the same answer, just so we're consistent. 